in, uh, personal information. And now, first, I deal with the uh, uh, detail of the author. The uh, Virginia Woolf, uh, born in 25 January 1882 and died 28 March 1971. She was an uh, English writer, considered as the, one of the most important uh, modernists in 20th century author and pioneer of the stream of the consciousness as a narrative device. And uh, another author is the uh, Marguerite uh, Radcliffe Hell. Is born in uh, she born in 20 August 1818 and died in 70 August in 1943. Hell was an unwanted child, and her mother and stepfather did, did not pay much attention to the her. And uh, he uh, she also uh, the so many uh, struggling there uh, the life. And uh, after uh, the life, she reflect the most on uh, in her major work. And uh, the one questions dress up due to identity. The and he, here we find the two two novels, the Well of the Loneliness and the Orlando of Biography. Here's the booth are uh, so many similarity of the find the dress up are the very important in the give the identity. And now the Well of the Loneliness, the novels written by the British author Radcliffe Hell. That was the first published in the 1928 by the Jonathan Kef, and uh, it followed the life of Stephen Gordon. Uh, she, uh, Stephen Gordon, she is the protagonist of this novel, and uh, she, she belonged to the up, upper class family. And uh, here we find the sex invention is appeared from the early age, and. Uh, now I will deal the deal with the gender identity in this uh, in this novel. The Well of the Loneliness is the protagonist of the Stephen Gordon. The the female protagonist of the Stephen Gordon feels uncomfort, uh, un uncomfortable in the dresses and does not like the feminist gender. And and from a very young he wear uh, masculine clothing. Uh, and uh, also his father also inspired, uh, encouraged by her father and he uh, he tell tell her i'm going to treat you like a boy and a uh, boy must always be brave and remember and it's the line of the original text and he lets wear and uh, bridges during the horse riding and finding that she can't ride a uh, side and saddle and as soon as she able to buy herself shoot tie and find a way to define herself as much as possible here with the protagonists are also uh, she uh, he, she also girls but uh, she also inspired uh, he encouraged by her father you are the not a girl you you like you you like you you must you is uh, my son and uh, and also the, the here uh, also she also the wearing the not a woman cloth she wear the uh, suit tie and uh, the boy look and uh, another novels the orlando biography uh, is a in novel by virginia wolf first published in 11 october in 1928 and inspired uh, the the novel is uh, inspired by the aristocratic poet and novelist Vita Sequilevas and Wolf's, uh, also the Wolf's lovers and close friend. And uh, here we find the gender, uh, gender identity in the Orlando. In the uh, difference between the gender in dominated theme in the Orlando, a biography. When the man Orland Orlando wake up and find herself a female. At night, uh, he were in, uh, in sleep and uh, wake up the morning morning that time he he become the uh, females and uh, she is not uh, she uh, she is not uh, discon uh, disconcerted by the change his gender and initially he feels uh, not different uh, between that what is she and uh, what she has been uh, the uh, earlier but uh, but uh, he, uh, but at the time past society make the her con conscious about the her role as a woman and this fall in line with what would in a world wolf in index to show that gender roles are not a biological but a social term and uh, i i find out the novel uh, novels have numbers of things in the common the first booth 
uh, Orlando and the Well of Loneliness, portrait of artists who have ambition relationship with the literary conventions because of their sexual uh, derivation. Here we uh, we uh, uh, we find uh, we find the 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 Virginia Woolf life and also the Radcliffe health. Both are the uh, relationship to uh, men, uh, uh, another woman, and also inspired to her uh, real life to and write uh, down this world. And both Orlando and the Well of Loneliness can be seen as a reworking traditional literary conventions in the light of ambition, gender, and sexuality. Yeah, the both are uh, try to break down the traditional way and a look a traditional look of the gender and uh, spokenly openly uh, booth are writing the the gender and sexuality and third booth novels were this for the authors book challenges this uh, reputation in the publishing their work and uh, fourth booth uh, work used the clothing as a man instrument to express the gender of the protagonist and finally booth were uh, writing with the goal of the deaf and Victorian constraints lead upon the sexual sexuality, especially in the woman. And one is changing uh, the one is a different uh, one another. The Stephen Gordon defined herself uh, frank, abnormal, and unnatural. But uh, uh, because that uh, she uh, she always. Uh, uh, the women, but uh, not lie, not react of the women. So she also accepted the way of uh, dress up in the boys. And Orlando, um, uh, another side of the Orlando is the embarrass her ability to dress in the masculine way, changing between men and women as is pleasure her. It is uh, incidentally the Orlando become the uh, men and uh, become the females is instantly. And uh, conclusion, conclusion, I conclude this presentation. The well of loneliness and the Orlando, how much in the common. Both novels are a portrait of the uh, art artistic and both protagonists have ambition relations to literary convention. As Stephen is a lesbian and only is a bisexual conventional uh, gender identity. And thank you. And this is my work citation.